Oops. There we go. Hey there, YouTube. It's the Misunderstood Boy Genius here again, and we're working on Buddy the Beetle. And we're gonna be putting the sundries back on the engine, the tin, the oil cooler, and uh, uh, exhaust and everything, getting it ready to put back in the car. So uh, join me as we stick all this back together and on the car. Well, once again, I forgot to record what I'm doing, but actually it's super simple. Uh, I put new seals between the oil cooler and the standoff for a doghouse uh, and on top of the engine to the standoff. If you don't have a doghouse, uh, your oil cooler just goes right on top of the engine. Um, the one thing you don't want to forget is the Hoover bit. And the Hoover bit is this little metal seal that keeps the air from passing the uh, oil cooler and it's around on this side too so when you put the uh, uh, the, the uh, fan shroud on here the air will actually go through the oil cooler and not go around underneath there's less restriction underneath and it can get through that way but if you put the hoover bit on there which is not really the hoover bit it's it's a little thing that was originally on the car. Um, then most of the air is going to go through the oil cooler. And then I've also got the tins in place here uh, over the cylinders uh, on both sides. And those are the first ones to go in. Everything else attaches to that. And super simple. There's just two uh, screws here. And I have all brand new hardware here. And uh, almost together <laughs> like I can do this one hand <laughs> let's try this side you've seen someone put screws in before I'm sure so anyway I'll take care of that and uh, I do need to get some plugs in here also uh, but that's essentially it that's our first step is putting back on the oil cooler for this engine because I took it off I'm gonna put these tins on and, and you know what I'm not gonna put quite well maybe I will put all the tin on I've got to pull off the uh, the flywheel and replace the seal back there also uh, we'll get to that as well I'm also putting uh, electronic ignition in here I'm getting rid of the points so points list um, I got the petronics I'm gonna put that in and uh, or pertronics I don't remember what it is flamethrower whatever it is I'm going to replace I might replace this uh, fuel pump with an original fuel pump uh, if I can get the rebuild kit they're about 30 bucks so I'll probably buy one of those and uh, we'll start buttoning this thing up more so it's a little windy day today and I, I apologize for that if you can hear the buffeting or not but we're gonna put this uh, fan housing on here the shroud but we got and, and as you know we're, we're redoing the whole uh, thermostat system and one of the things you have to make sure is that gap right there is it big enough for this rod to get through and in this instance no no it's not so I've got to get a file and get down in there and file down those little casting ridges uh, to make this wide enough so that that little rod can get down through there so we did a little work with a burr on a drill And then we slide through there just fine. So we'll put this part on the uh, shroud and then we'll stick it on. So to hold this on, all we've got is one of these little clips. And I can show you how to put it on, but you just really put it over the end. And I uh, kind of push it on with some pliers. I've also used, you know, like a, uh, a, a small. Uh, a ratchet head or something like that not a ratchet head a uh, socket I've used a small socket to push those on also so we got a little bit of rain falling on the car court and I know you're a little bit backlit but 
hopefully that's not too too big a deal. I did want to show you one thing here though. Um, on the oil cooler, you notice there's some basically weather stripping around here. That's one thing that was on there originally. It had foam on there. Uh, to make sure that it gets a good seal inside the doghouse. So that air coming from the fan actually does blow uh, through the oil cooler and not just go around, just like the Hoover bit down here. Keeps all that air going through the oil cooler where it's supposed to go. So to get this shroud on here now, we've got the shroud and this this little bar is a little bit offset, so you gotta get it, get it started uh, down through there. Oops. There we go. And once we get pushing that down, then we can turn this and get everything started on there properly. This is the first time I've done this, so I might have to do a take two on this. And uh, yeah, definitely gonna have to do a, a take two because I'm not doing something right. Because this goes over the fan like that, and this bar has a little twist in it to get to the to the. Uh, thermostat. So how the hell do we do all of that at once? We're going to experiment. I think we just push. so far. Yep, you just push. <laughs> Everything is missed back here. Not so much up here yet. But we'll keep fussing with this. And I had to do this when I put it on everything needs to line up right. The shroud goes down inside of those covers. I may have put that stick on the wrong direction. Because I'm hitting one of my uh, tubes down here. I'll check it out and I'll bring you back. Okay, here's what we've done. We've taken off the exhaust ports and we've taken off the connector and the spring and we've turned the rod around. Because even after taking those parts off, getting it down in there, it was rubbing up against uh, one of the uh, push rod tubes. So we're gonna try it this way, without those parts on, 
and see what happens. All right. Let's try this direction. Just didn't seem like this was it, but looking at the way that this is offset from the cylinders now, it actually looks more right to me. Oh, we'll do the same thing here. We'll just push it home. Say that. Just fine doing doing this doing this way. It's not digging it at all. Let's try this since we have all this other stuff off. Oh look, we can do that. And sure enough, that all dropped down there where it's supposed to be. So the key here. Pulling off all your linkages and taking off the parts that come off of the doghouse. So you can get room there, get some room, and get all this done. All right, that's on. And do you now see the giant mistake that I made? It's almost as if there's a hole describing what this giant mistake is. You can't get the uh, generator and fan on there with the shroud on. So I'm going to have to take this off and put the generator and fan in there and then do this again. But, uh, you know, three times you, you tend to learn how, how to do something. So we'll do it again. Okay, take three. Step one sure your rod is on this direction coming out of this side you got your little clip over here step two put in your fan also while doing your fan note that there's this little groove down in here I don't know if that you'd call it that but that that guy right down there um, on your fan housing let's go out here in the sun on your, fan, on your fan housing there's this slot right here that's air that goes through the generator to uh, keep it cool so you want that to the right uh, facing those that slot where are we at here three three you want to have off your uh, air outlet and your linkage here Otherwise, this is impossible to get on, as I've already demonstrated. Okay, then to get this on, you can try and stand this way, not too much in the way. Step one is you've got to get the little end down there, twist, and you can slide back part over the oil cooler and I didn't twist quite far enough you gotta there we go get it down in there and then you can slide all this I see that there we go. over our oil cooler and everything's down in there that's how you do it <laughs> we all we all learned um, so now we got our generator in there, which is impossible to get in afterwards. And uh, I just got to seat everything down here, and I'll show you putting on the stuff on the back too. Here, let me just get oops, all these goodies. Back where they belong. That guy goes there. 
we've got our clips. And I do apologize if the wind is howling at you. It hasn't not been windy for a couple days now. And it's cold out here too. I showed you I could do this clip with one hand. I don't know if I can do it in this cold. Let's see. Using a screwdriver, yes. Come on. There you go. It clips back on our leakage. Oh, I can't feel my fingers. There we go. Got our clips back on. Got our linkage in. We'll, we'll put our spring back in a second. Anyway, so that's all in. Next, we're going to put on the thermostat. And I'll show you how that works. Oops, I forgot one more thing. That guy lives there. Screwdriver. This is what makes the doghouse special on these 1600s is it throws the hot air out the back. And this guy lives there. And Lost the nut. 10 millimeter nut goes on here. It's laying down on the ground somewhere. I'll find it. So I simply don't have a low enough tripod to show you, but we've got the thermostat here. It's collapsed as hot air blows over it from the heads up here. It will expand and open up those flaps more, allowing more air through to cool this more. You adjust it right here on this little nut. Um, it's supposed to be at the top here. Well, when it's, when it's fully, when the flaps are fully open, the bellows should just be touching the top there and that's where you adjust it to. And then you drop, pull this back down and stick it in there. Somewhere in here is probably okay. We're going to go with that for right now and, uh, call it good. But, uh, super simple to get on. You have to ha have the thermostat out. There's a 13 underneath here and you just screw it on to the little uh, the little bar that's coming down from the top and uh, and then screw it in at the base here it's got a, a recess and a little uh, pin that sits in there and then you bolt it to the side of the case and that's it and it's all in so there we go there's everything stuck together and uh, should work. If it doesn't work, you'll see me ripping it out here in a few months. So next we're going to get the exhaust and the heater boxes on. I've got them laid out here. And uh, because some of the other tin attaches to that, you've got to get to, you know, the, the exhaust port back here and uh, on back here. I guess this is the back of the engine, front of the engine. Um, you got to get that on before you put on this tin. Um, so we'll be doing that too. Okay, remember as you're putting all this on, don't tighten down uh, any of this stuff. It's all, it's all, there we go. It's all still loose in here so that we can get our clamps and, and everything on properly. And if you're doing this right, there's two small pieces of tin that a lot of people leave out. Uh, one is that piece of tin right there, that little... That little weird guy and then there's another one back up underneath here and you think they don't do anything but the way that that's indented on both of these pieces and where it goes to over here is pretty important because what it does is it keeps air moving around the cylinder head um, so that it keeps cooling um, until it 
gets all the way, you know, oh, where are we at? There we go, out down here. So it just makes that column of air move where it's supposed to go. Uh, so it keeps those cylinder heads, the cylinder heads cool. And a lot of people leave those off. I choose to put them all back on. And then on this side, this has a 71, uh, which was the year that we had. There we go. The little chimney there uh, that mi just misses that little piece of tin back in there. Can't even see it, but that's what it does. And that's for the warm air intake uh, when the car is cold. Yeah, I'm setting this up for cool and warm weather, so I need all these bits. Uh, so I'm putting this all together, and uh, rather than you watching me do everything, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. I put the heater tubes on first, uh, got gaskets, new gaskets on here, new nuts on here, and then I put the exhaust on, and it slipped right on, and then I'm going to put the clamps um, over the exhaust flanges here and then tighten the whole thing down so it's all stuck together. But uh, we're getting there. Okay, right now I am pulling the exhaust off again because I learned something very important that I've forgotten. This piece of tin right here goes up right in here no way to get it in with the exhaust and the heater tubes on I've got to pull it all off the reason I didn't remember that is that on this side I just left it attached back there so it was fine uh, so lesson learned <laughs> pulling the exhaust off again and uh, I'll put it all back on and get that tin on first, though. Okay, so pro tip, lower tins first. Well, this tin first, then the lower tins, then everything else. Otherwise, you have to pull your exhaust off again. So I'll get this back together, and I'll bring you back. Okay, number one is the cylinder covers. Number two is the rear tins. Number three is your intake manifold. Number four is your fan housing with generator installed. Then put back on your cooling flap linkages, if you're using them. Then your front tin and your doghouse oil cooler exhaust. Don't forget your chimney if you have one and are using it. Don't forget these weird little rear tins. And the last step is getting the heater boxes and the exhaust all installed again. So once you've done that, you've got everything back on the engine. We put our timing belt on there. Um, I didn't remove the distributor and fuel pump. I just left them on. Um, you can pull those off if you want. If you're starting with a long block, you can put all this stuff on. Of course, you'll have to put on the distributor and the, the oil uh, fuel pump. Uh, I'm going to change out the, uh, the coil and uh, put breakerless ignition in also. But now we've got everything together on the engine. Um, I have not put on the uh the intake manifolds the well the the part that goes right to the cylinder um, i've got some new boots coming today i'll put those on and uh haven't put the carburetor on yet i'll put that on uh, just before i get in the car i have a, a rebuilt one that i'm putting in but there we are that's how you do it in 75 easy steps so here it is with the rear tin on and as you can see i also put in the uh, insulation in the uh, heat riser tins there 
These are a bugger to get on with new insulation. You just have to push and prod a lot. I still didn't get this screw in right. This one went in right, and that one back there went in right. Um, but this ties everything together, and what I discovered is I've seen a lot of people uh, take this off and put this on uh, afterwards. Um, you know, you put it on the car after you put the engine in or take it off before. That would be really tough to do um, in this case. Uh, there might be enough room around there, but there it is. There's everything together. On with the rest of the video. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for uh, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And uh, uh, let your friends know about it and keep this thing growing. Um, I'm almost, almost at 100 subscribers. It's amazing. Thanks for joining me. Have a great afternoon.